Morning all. This is uh, Dom Scott. Just thought I'd uh, make the most of my time. Here I am in the studio on lockdown. Give you um, a bit of a run over on what kind of what I do, what I'm doing. This is a little project I started the other day. Um, still playing around with the idea, but I kind of try and keep things, keep the mix as tight as possible from start to finish. So uh, it's kind of what I've got at the moment. Been bouncing a lot of stuff down now into audio, so I prefer kind of m- mastering and mixing the stuff in audio rather than playing with midis. Once I've got a sound I'm kind of happy with, I'll kind of bounce it down. So, what we've got? Go for the kick, for example. What we got here? Alright, so this is our standard kick. Just got a utility putting that into mono. Keeping it nice and tight. Going straight down the middle. Fab filter. Can't live without it. Got rid of a bit of that really bassy kind of stuff so it doesn't crash too much with the bass arms it got going. A bit more of a peak on 73 hertz to give it a bit more bang. Lost a bit of those mid frequencies. It's kind of giving it a bit too much punch. So it just sits below. And a little bit of high frequencies so it doesn't crash with my hi hats and. Uh, my synths. What else we got here? Basically, my auxiliary buses. What I use on the kick is a CLA 76 in mono. Obviously, as it's a kick drum. Quick release. This works in reverse. See, 76, so 7 is a quick release. One is a slow release, as you can quickly see. Same as the attack, so I want a quick release, quick attack, four ratio, no analog, frequencies interfering, I want it nice and clean, nice and tight. As you can see, if I get rid of that, it just gives that extra punch. It's obviously, as it's on an external bus, it's giving it another layer, it's not affecting the initial sound, it's just giving it a bit more punch without affecting too much the uh, master fader. Same kind of thing on the mid frequencies like the snares, my hats do the same thing but I use in CLA 76 so go into that, check that out same thing snares got a few going on, two going on at once here different effects on each one this is level 76 in stereo this time all my other elements in stereo same thing, obviously don't want such a quick release or Quick attack, so that's a bit delayed. Just knocking me down about 3 dBs, keeping it tight. The same thing, but then you want this one on uh, full ratio. Same again, no analog distortion. And you can see if I take that off, it makes a hell of a difference. I lose both. All these extra elements, you can see the muddiness and the cleanness that is bringing out just from those three external plugins. Bass lines, you're an R compressor, you're mono, a bit of a slow, slow compressor, so it just keeps that bass line, or all of these bass lines got grouped, where they should be. As they again, I've got one that I haven't put that effect on because it kind of give it too much compression, I don't want that one compressed. The other two have got full full gain on the ex- external element. So there's the R compressor. Different compression on different elements. I say just keeps that full mix tight. Seems I'll try and work to keep that master at, at zero when I'm preparing the mix down. What do I do to help me do that? Well, I'll stick a utility element on it. For 6 dB gain. So I'm aiming to keep that at zero as much as possible when I'm doing my mix down. I've got something peeking out there, looks like one of the uh, one of the little uh, synth specs. I'll have to tighten that up, obviously you can see it. It's going over. So what does that do? What if I take that off? That's giving me now a free master at minus 6 dB. So as long as I've got the mix tight at zero with that on, which I'll aim to do. Once I lose that, that's then ready to do masters at minus 6 dB, industry standard. Anyway, I should keep working on 
on this one. I hope it's uh, been useful. Any questions or queries, you can contact me by Facebook, YouTube page, send me a message, or send me a, send me a comment here. I'll answer as soon as possible. Uh, hope it's been of interest. Okay, I'll be posting more videos later this week for sure. Take care, guys.